Well, good morning. Today is Friday the 13th. Friday, December 13th. And I'm going to the post office because I have to mail some mail. I'm going to check my mailbox while I'm there. Then I have to go to Kroger's and just pick up a couple things. And then I got to go to the Hallmark store because I forgot to get my some Christmas cards. I got to get some more Christmas cards. But we do have birthdays today. Yeah! Today is Buffalo Churney's birthday. Buffalo! Jim says happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Buffalo. Happy birthday to you. Cha cha cha. She's got a great birthday. He's got a great birthday. Friday the 13th. Only good luck on Friday the 13th. But it's also Lori Travel Diva's birthday. So, Lori, you get a song too. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Lori. Happy birthday to you. Cha cha cha. And we also have an anniversary. Debbie Roseberry, it's your anniversary, 43rd. But if she told me what your husband's name was, you didn't count. I don't remember writing it down, so I'm going to sing just to you. But let me know who it is, and I'll sing another song tomorrow. Happy anniversary, happy anniversary, happy anniversary, happy anniversary. Happy, 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 happy anniversary. Happy, 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 happy anniversary. Very good. 43 years. <sighs> I bet you could tell some stories, too. <laughs> anyway, um, yesterday I forgot that Peggy over at Colored Me Influence um, did the reflections tag. And so did Kathy at WW Journey. And I told them I was going to put their links yesterday on my video. And I forgot senior moment. So I definitely will put it on today. And if anybody else has done it, I'll put their links too. But I, might, uh, I haven't watched any videos yet this morning. I actually got up at a halfway decent time. So we're, um, I did get, get on the scale this morning because I wanted to see how much damage I've done this week. And I've gained two pounds. It's not good. Just not good at all. So I got to be really, really good today. So I'm going to be very good today. I was going to tell you something else. Jeez, if I can remember what it was. It left, it left me. It'll come back. I know it will. It's a little cool. We've got a cold front coming in, but we, uh, whatever. So, oh, Peggy, that's what I was going to say. I, I sang to Peggy Color Me Influence again. She said, she said, you and Mary sang to me in the summer. Yes, I did. So I must have missed a Peggy. I must have put the wrong Peggy in my calendar. So if I missed a Peggy that sang to you the other day, let me know, because I feel so bad. But she got two songs. She got one from me and Mary and one from just me. So made it, I'm aging her quicker than she wants to age, I think. But anyway, I am human. I do make mistakes. Although I like to tell people that I don't. But I do. Just uh, you know, I'm just I've, I've I don't know why it is in December you think that just because it's December that you don't have to follow a plan. At least I'm speaking for myself. I'm not speaking for other people. I'm speaking for myself. It's like it's so close to the new year, and you just think, well, I'm gonna start the new year out right, and you know. But I don't want to do so much damage that I'm really like repairing damage when I start January off. So I really do truly want to stay within my plan, and I really do try. I really do try, but. I wish I could uh, find my gung-ho spirit that I had when I joined. I gotta have some kind of an aha moment. And it's, so far it's just not coming to me and and it has to. I am seriously, seriously, seriously considering in January doing a weekly menu and I've told you that I don't like that. But I might try it just for January and see how it works. Um, you know, if I don't like it, I can always stop. There's no law that says that I can't stop. But it's, um, I got to figure out something. I, ha I know the one thing I do have to do is uh, change up my food choices. Because I think that your body does get used to having certain foods at certain times, certain days. And they just get used to it. 
and they just know that that uh, oh yeah it's breakfast here come the berries here comes the grapefruit you know so I, I really do think I need to um, really get back on track as far as um, uh, having a plan I, I gotta have a plan I gotta have a better plan I definitely have to have a better plan and I am going to so I was gonna go in a different order but I think I'm gonna hit the Hallmark store first so I don't have to make too many left turns this time of year left turns can be treacherous <laughs> because there's so many people on the road doing their shopping and stuff this way. But any loser, we are at the Hallmark store now. So I find a parking spot. So I will talk to you guys in a bit. Okay, the memory I want to share with you today, my Christmas memory, um, it happened, I'm not really sure exactly what year it was, because I know it was before 2001, before 9-11, because we were able to uh, get on a plane a whole lot different than we do nowadays. But uh, it was one year for Christmas I'd taken my family. We had gone to Disney World twice, but this particular time it was just my immediate family had gone. Uh, the one time we had gone, I went my family and Bertie's family. So, but this time it was just uh, my own particular family, my own family, we went. And uh, we had gone, it was right after Christmas. We went the day after Christmas. Um, I know that uh, Anita over at Chit Chat Paddywhack goes there all the time at Christmas time. Uh, if you're coming from out of town, it's the worst time of the year to go. Any kind of vacation time is the worst time to go because there were so many people. We thought, well, we'll go, we'll go in December. It won't be so bad. <laughs> it was bad. I mean, there was lines for everything, and uh, which there's going to be lines anyhow, but it was really crowded. And it was in the middle of a um, like a cold snap for them because we only packed summer clothes. We thought we're going to Florida. <laughs> it's going to be nice and warm and we're not going to have to worry. It was so cold. It was like in the thirties, which is not cold for me here in Michigan, but you know what, when you only have summer clothes and you go down to Florida, <laughs> it's cold. It was so cold that they had warnings to bring your animals in <laughs> because it was dangerous for them. Dangerous. The dogs around here would say, <laughs> dangerous, 35 degrees. <laughs> Yeah. But anyway, so we had gone. We had a really good time. We really had a really good time. I mean, we stood in line for a lot of long, long lines and stuff, but it was it was a lot of fun. And so then it was coming time to go, and there was this major, major snowstorm in the north, and it was closing down airports. So we had called, and uh, the airlines ahead of time, we wanted to know if Detroit Metropolitan Airport was snowed in, and they said, "Nope, you're fine. You can you can fly in." And, I said, well, you know, our flight doesn't leave for another four hours. It's like another two and a half hours. So we're talking six to eight hours from now. Are you sure? You're, you have no problems. The weather forecast says you're fine. Come to the airport. Okay, so we check out of the hotel. We go to the airport. We get to the airport. And, um, and I've told this story before, but for my new subscribers. So we get to the airport, and the line was out the door. It's literally out the door. There was because so many flights were canceled. And you had to stand in line and it was just it was it was forever it was forever and ever but we kept looking up at the board and and our flight was still um not canceled so we were fine we thought we gave the uh the porter our luggage so that he could you know send it along to you know to the luggage area and we stood in line and by the time we got to the front of the line all the flights up north were canceled so we didn't have a flight to be had so I get up to the register, to the, the register, to the counter, and the, in the counter next to me was this lady that was just like reaming this poor clerk, like it was their fault that the, all the airports were closed because of the snow and that they had no place to go. The language on her, it was even worse than me, and I could come up with some pretty good ones. I've been told I, I talk like a sailor sometimes. I really have been told that, but. Uh, I thought, no, you know, it's not this poor guy's fault. And I told him, I said, you know, I feel really bad. I understand the point. I says, but there's, um, at the time, there was six of us, I think. Yes, because Jimmy was married to Cindy. So there's just the six of us. I said, there's there's six of us. What we really would like to do is fly together. But I understand that might be a problem. So if we need to find a hotel or something and stay a day or two, we'll find a hotel. And he says, you know, I'm really sorry, but all the hotels are booked, which kind of got me a little upset because I thought, you know what, if I would have known that, I would have just stayed at where I was at and just stayed another night. But, you know, it wasn't this guy's fault. 
So I said, well, the best you can do, I, I'll take the best you can do because it's not your fault. I completely understand. And so he said, well, let me, let me look, let me look. And I said, well, okay. So then he was gone a couple minutes. The whole time, this lady in the next thing, oh my gosh, I felt so sorry for the clerk because there was nothing they can do. Were they going to have Santa sleigh come and pick you up and fly you through the bad weather? <laughs> the planes were not flying. They were not flying. They were flying to southern airports, but not way up north where we wanted to go. So, not way up north, but you know, up north. And uh, so then the guy comes back and he says, well, I have good news and I have bad news. And I go, well, what's the bad news? He says, well, the bad news, well, he says, I really have good news, bad news, bad news. And I go, well, give me the good news. And he says, the good news is that I can get all six of you into Atlanta, but you got to stay overnight. But um, well, I can definitely book you on a flight in the morning that you can, you know, fly out to Detroit because by then the airports will be cleared. And I go, well, if that's the good news, what's the bad news? He says, well, the bad news is I can't get you to travel all together. I'm going to have to split you up. Uh, two of you can go on one flight and four of you can go on another flight. And I said, well, that seems fine. And then he looks at it and he says, no, no, let me change that. Three of you can go on one flight and three of you can go on another flight. And so I said, okay, that's fine. What, what's the bad news of the bad news? He says, well, the bad news is that the, the plane's going to be leaving in about 10 minutes, and so you have to pick your three fastest runners, and they're going to have to run like the devil to get to the airport before they close the gate so they can get in. And then when you get to the next airport, um, I'll have a porter meet you and, and round your whole party together so you'll be together. And so I said, that's okay. So Jimmy, Danny, and Jim decided they were the fastest, and they took off like a shot with their boarding passes. Well, you didn't have to go through the whole security like you do now, so that was in our favor right then, and they were able to get on the plane. And so then the guy gave us ours and his tickets, and he said, well, your plane leaves in a half an hour, but you have plenty of time to get to it. And I says, oh, I really appreciate it. Thank you. Can I get your name and, you know, like your name? And he said, yeah, okay. So he gave me his name, and I put it as a bookmark in my book, and then I continued on. It was Christy, me, and Cindy. Uh, we continued on to get to the flight, and we got on our flight. We had pretty good tickets. I mean, we had really good tickets. Uh, and so we, when we were landing, there was the porter was there waiting for us, along with Jim, Jimmy, and Danny. And so he said that uh, the guy's name was David that took care of us. He said, David said to take care of you guys. And so uh, here are some dinner vouchers for you for tonight to eat dinner. And then here's some breakfast vouchers for you to eat in the morning so that you can come somewhere around in the airport and eat your breakfast here. And I says, oh, okay, that sounds good. And I, what time does our flight leave tomorrow? And he said, well, your flight leaves at uh, 11. And so I said, oh, okay, we'll just have to figure out somewhere where we're gonna stay tonight. And he says, oh no, that's already taken care of. Uh, I'm gonna bring you to a shuttle bus and we have you, we're staying at the Best Western, I, but I could only get you two rooms, so you're gonna have to share two rooms. That's fine. So they took the shuttle bus and we got to the Best Western and we stayed there for the night. Uh, they had a breakfast bar in the morning there, so we went and had like, you know, like typical breakfast bar stuff, you know, just like Danish and coffee and juices and stuff like that. And so we ate breakfast, and then when we got to the airport, we found out that our flight was delayed from 11 o'clock until 3 o'clock. So we thought, well, that's no problem. We got our breakfast coupons. <laughs> so we used our breakfast vouchers for lunch, and so we ate lunch at the airport. So we were sitting there waiting, and I saw the lady that was causing such a commotion. And now I'm just assuming that everybody got this, the five-star treatment like I got. And so very, you know, nonchalantly, I asked her, I said, so did you have a good night last night? And she says, oh, yeah, I had, I had the best night ever. And I go, oh, I, I didn't see you at the hotel. Where, where did you stay? And she says, what are you talking about? Where did I stay? And I said, well, we stayed at the Best Western. She says, you see the floor over there? That's where I stayed. I slept on the floor all night. She says, how did you get a room at the Best Western? And I go, well, David over at the Orlando airport set it up for us so that when we landed here in Atlanta, we had a shuttle take us to, oh my gosh, she went ballistic. She went up, I felt so sorry. I, I was like, why didn't you just stay quiet? <laughs> why didn't you just stay quiet? So then she stayed up, she went and she was like reaming this guy, like a new guy. It was just, it was just, I felt so sorry for him too. And I'm thinking, I was the cause of that. I am so sorry. So then we're, we're just about ready to board and then, we get paged up to the counter, and the the man says, uh, I know that we had set up that the six of you could sit together in uh, coach. He said, but we have a problem. We only have four seats. 
And so I said, oh, okay. So I turned to my kids and I said, well, you guys go and your dad and I'll wait for the next flight. And he said, no, 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 I'll seat those four in coach. He said, but we do have room in first class. And I go, oh, I, I can't afford first class. And she, he said, no, we don't have the seats that we booked for you. So we're bumping you up free of charge to first class. So you can sit in first class. So first class gets to sit first. So we got on the we got on the plane first and we were sitting there. And as my kids got on, I go, peasants, keep moving. Keep moving, peasants. <laughs> it was, oh my God, that's the way to travel first class. I'll never travel first class again. I could never afford the ticket, but oh my gosh, did I feel like a celebrity. And so when I got home, I did write a nice letter. It was to American Airlines that, about how good David was and how much he took care of us and how we would always recommend American Airlines. And that's who we always flew was American Airlines because uh, I don't I don't know that I don't even know that they're still in business. I couldn't tell the last time I flew. I think the last time I flew was in 2006, 2005, something like that. I haven't flown like in 15 years, so I don't even know if the airline's still in business. But uh, David at American Airlines, he took care of us. So that's my Christmas story. We did have a good time at Christmas time. We opened up our presents in the morning, and then we left, and we had a really good time. We really did. So. Anyway, I'll share a memory here. I'm not really sure. I haven't looked at them to see which one I'm going to share, but I will definitely share a memory now with my family. Christmas memory. Like, it never... No, oh, you know Christmas memory. Be? It was very nice. Oh, wait, I do have okay. one. I was going to give I you one. Give oh, wait, a minute, wait a minute. Okay, now. I would have given you a Christmas memory, but my sister Sandy stole mine. Which Christmas memory? story. Oh, the um, opening of the gift. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Actually, that was the That nice. was me. That I was didn't, and I didn't tell that. No. I just talked about that. My first was <laughs> oh. was the Okay, it took a while, but Kathleen thought of a memory. Yeah, so from... one year for Boy Scouts, my brother had like a pancake breakfast, and definitely Santa Claus was my dad, and um, I knew it the entire time. <laughs> I asked millions of times, and everyone told me no, and I was like, those are his glasses, <laughs> though. I know it. <laughs> That's her Learned memory. Learned and found out, yeah. Okay, that's going to do it for tonight. Look at so bright. Um, it wasn't my most successful day, but it really wasn't that bad. I had, I get 23 points a day. I had 27 today, so, uh, which is a lot for me for a Friday. I just, um, I don't know. I don't know. I, I'm just looking forward to tomorrow so I can start fresh. It's a new day. Start again. I get new points, new weeklies. I get back on track. I, um, well, I ask you to pray for Diane C. She's having some, um, medical issues, and so if you could keep her in your prayers, I'd appreciate it. Uh, also, my sister Mary um, has a couple little medical problems. Nothing really majorly serious, but, you know, say some prayers for my sister Mary. I appreciate it. And uh, let's just get back on track because it's only the uh, 13th. I still have uh, 18 more days. I'm not going to ruin December. I'm going into January with a fresh start, fresh outlook, and... Uh, I'm not going to regret any of my decisions that I made these last 18 days in December. So um, I will see you guys in the morning.